Hi everyone, in this lecture we're going to talk about a simple case of debugging. So uh, in this lecture I'm going to create another page that is going to count how many times the page has been viewed. We're also going to go over the issues you're likely to face during this process. Now first off I'm, going to, I'm just going to copy that, uh, copy this second page. So I could comment these ones out. This is the first page that we have. This is the second page. And I'm just going to paste that here, which is going to be our third page. Now, before that, I'm just going to create another uh, variable. I'm going to call it counter. And I'm going to set it to zero. Now, within this page, what is going to be the URL? I'm just going to say view count, view underscore count. And what is the name of that um, view function? I'm just going to call it view count as well now what the, what does uh, what is this function going to do this function is going to access the global counter that we have created and then it is going to add on to its value so add one to it and then it is going to return a formatted string so what the formatted string is going to say is this page has been viewed this many times so I'm just going to say counter counter time so I'm just going to pass in an s in here as well so let's save that let's go to this address so I'm just going to remove that and I'm going to say view uh, view uh, count let's save that there we go it says it is not found let's just close the server let's say Python because that is we need to run this file for the debugging dot pi so let's save that there we go so if i run this let's close that let's go to our view count and you can see it says um uh, it, the page has been viewed one time i'm going to zoom in so if i try to refresh the page you can see it says the page has been viewed two times three four five six seven eight nine ten and each time we refresh the page we are making a get request to the flask server a get request to the flask server to which url we are asking for which url we are asking for the view count url so what the flask server is going to do is it is going to look up our application for the view count url where is this url and when it finds it then it is going to map it to the uh, function to the view function that that view count url is associated with and then it is going to run that view function and the result is going to be shown on the page we know that right but one of the problems that you might be facing whenever you're copy pasting is that you might have different um uh you you might you might have uh different urls but the name of the view function might be the same so you might forget to actually write that and in that case you're going to end up with an assertion error so if i run that you can see that in here we have an assertion error and this is one of the ways that you can actually go ahead and try to debug your application now you can see we are not able to access our website it says this site can be reached uh, this refused to connect why because the name of the view functions they should not be the same thing and in here it says assertion error so a assertion error is one of the errors that you're going to get whenever you're working with the, with a flask uh, function and what does it say it says view function mapping is overriding an existing endpoint function cool so we know that the view function is overriding an existing endpoint what is the endpoint this is the endpoint so we are going to go to the endpoint function where is the endpoint function so this is the cool and this is the endpoint function for that and it says it is overriding this so whichever url we are working with the view function for that URL is overriding the view function for this one and this is not allowed that's why we are going to end uh, we are going to end up with an assertion error which basically says that this view function is overriding this one which one it is it is the one which has the URL slash cool so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to bring uh, put it back to view underscore count and I'm going to save that and let's run this application again make sure to always keep your server running and if i reload that you can see it says this page has been viewed one time 
and you can click on it and each time it is going to be viewed we are going to add on to this counter number so with this our lecture comes to an end see you in the next one